When it comes to Pioneer, she's named after a, a Maori sea god. Um, there's a statue of her in New Zealand, in Napier, I think it is. Anyway, she's a lovely, she's a lovely narrowboat. She was built in 2003 by Meesham Boats, fitted out by Meesham and partly the original owner. The fit out's really good. Traditional stern, 57 feet, 3 inches long. She was blacked last year in September 2020. Six new anodes were put on in 2017. They were fine at last blacking. She was last serviced about 25 hours ago or something in May 2021. The paint works very nice. Full repaint in June 2020. There's a couple of side hatches either side of the boat. You'll see those as we go through as well. Roof hatch on that one. The cratch cover there was new in 2015 and the gas bottles are in that forward locker. There's two six kilo propane uh, bottles in there. Lovely well deck, five feet long. It's good space in here. The cratch covers have got that clear panels in and the cratch board is glazed so it's nice and light. There's storage under the bench seat here. The water tank's underneath here, it's stainless steel. It's a large water tank actually, 765 litres. There's a separate 45 litre fuel tank in the well deck here for the diesel bubble stove. Nice glazed panels in the front doors. And then we go. Feels really cosy this boat. Carpets on the floor. The saloon itself is 11 feet long, good space in here. There's the other side hatch that I mentioned. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. Two seater sofa there, that's very comfy. Head height on the boat is six foot six, that's fairly generous. There's the diesel bubble stove that I mentioned. In the corner here is a 19 inch Sony television, five surround sound speakers with that and a DVD player. There's also another television in the bedroom, you'll see see that as we go through. That's not currently wired into the aerial, but it could very easily be done. Radiators on the board, there are three of those. They're heated by a diesel fired Webasto system. Got a useful little storage area in here for bits and pieces. And there's the view down the saloon. Really lovely room. Lighting on the boat is LED throughout. And that's the view down the galley. There's the washing machine. It's a Bosch. Four and a half kilo top loader. Some very useful cupboards under here. The worktops in here, by the way, are Corian. The galley itself is nine feet long. So there's good space in here. Four burner gas hob there, that's a Bosch. One of these pulley out cupboard things, very useful. Storage under the sink. And under the gas hob is, is further storage. Here's the fridge, it's a Bosch XL 230 volts. Lots of storage there, and there's the microwave oven. It's it's a combi oven, so that's your oven option on board. And there's a good sized cupboard above it. Storage on the port side, a couple of drawers and cupboard under, underneath. Excuse me. And taken 10 minutes out of the cricket today to do this voiceover as a statement, commitment to work. It's the last day of the fourth test, it could be very exciting. There's the larder cupboard. And there's the view down the galley. Got a lovely feel to this boat, I must say. So down the corridor on the port side of the boat to the bathroom. There's the loo, it's a Sunny Marine pump out, there's a 420 litre steel holding tank with a tank gauge. The basin is ceramic, countersunk over this cupboard. 
another radiator in here storage options over the uh, over the basin quite good storage for a bathroom actually there often isn't that much and the shower itself is tiled in this bifold doored cubicle there's a thermostatic mixer tap with a water purifying shower head another cupboard here in between the, the shower and the cabin sides nice room seven feet wide so or long I suppose so good space and the bedrooms in the rear of the boat here the bed itself is a, it's a fixed double six foot four inches long four feet wide cupboards over the forward end of the bed and quite useful shelves there as well cups of tea or books and things drawers here rather cupboard Storage has really been thought about on this boat. There's plenty of it. Storage under the bed as well. There's the television I mentioned. Not wired into the aerial, but uh, it could be. Very easily. Bedroom itself, 11 feet 3 inches long. So generously proportioned, and at the foot of the bed, Lots more storage here in the wardrobe. Cupboards over. The thickness of that wood, it's all pretty solid. And acres of storage on the other side. I suppose acres is technically incorrect, isn't it? I'll have comments on that. Um, cubic feet, I suppose, but I haven't measured it. I'm not going to. So a huge amount of storage space the rear cabin here six feet three inches long it's quite good access to the boat actually for a traditional stern the engine is in here it's a beta 43 i mentioned it was just recently serviced nice and clean and tidy in here the batteries are in under there there's four domestics 100 amp 105 amp hours each. They were brand new, all of those, in April 2021. And the start battery was new in April 2019. So plenty of power. You can see that silver box on the wall there. That's an Electrolux 3.5 kilowatt travel power gener generator. Generates 230 volts when the boat's running. Really good for washing machine usage. There's a galvanic isolator on board as well. And there's a view from the helmsman's position. Let's have another walk back through. Lovely woodwork. Hot water on the boat, that's heated by the engine, the Wabasto, or there is also an immersion heater on board. There's an inverter on board for 230 volts, it's a two and a half kilowatt sine wave inverter charger. So 230 volts, you've got no problems. There's also a landline hookup, of course. Just got all the necessary navigation equipment, the poles, the windlasses, plank, pins, fenders, to cast off and go. Really lovely boat, this. Pioneer. For further photographs of fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.